Dear students, you are welcome to STR Shivarajan's teaching room. So in our last episode, we have been discussing about MTP, medical termination of pregnancy, and we have seen all the details of MTP in the last episode. And today, in this episode, we are looking at the sexually transmitted diseases. STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. Sexually transmitted diseases are diseases which are transmitted through sexual intercourse. Diseases or infections transmitted through sexual relation or sexual intercourse are called sexually transmitted diseases or STDs. They are also called as venereal disease. V E N E R E A L. V E N E R E A L. Venereal diseases or V D. Then they are also called as reproductive. tract infection so they are also called as stds or sexually transmitted diseases are also called as rti reproductive tract infection this vd and rti are sometimes asked for expansion so vd stands for venereal disease and the RTI stands for Reproductive Tract Infection. Don't mistake it as reproduction. It is reproductive. Reproductive Tract Infection RTI. So, diseases or infections transmitted through sexual relation or sexual intercourse are called as sexually transmitted diseases or STDs. They are also called as VD or venereal diseases and also called as RTI, Reproductive Tract Infections. Then, we will see some diseases caused in this time. That is, gonorrhea, G-O-N-O-R-R-H-O-E-A, gonorrhea, syphilis, S-Y-P-H-I-L-I-S, syphilis, chlamydiasis, CHLA, MYDIASIS, chlamydiasis, genital herpes, G E N I T I L H E R P S, genital herpes, the genital warts, G E N I T I L W A R T S, genital warts, then trichomoniasis, T R I C H O M O N I A S I S, trichomoniasis, then hepatitis B, H E P A T I T I S B, hepatitis B, and AIDS, AIDS, are some of the major sexually transmitted diseases. So, eight, the names of eight diseases are mentioned here. Gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydiasis, genital herpes, genital warts, trichomoniasis, hepatitis B, and AIDS are some of the major sexually transmitted diseases. And now we will see what are the causes of this disease or what causes virus, bacteria and protozoans are the cause of the diseases. So let me tell you what is the cause of this disease. What, are, what is the cause of the sexual transmitted diseases? The causes are viruses. The causes are bacteria. The causes may be protozoa also. See, just after these names, I have written a letter within the brackets in red color. There is gonorrhea, bracket I have written B, that means gonorrhea is a bacterial disease. Then syphilis B, what is B? It is a bacterial disease. Chlamydiasis B, it is a bacterial disease. Then genital herpes V, that is a viral disease. Then genital warts V, it is a viral disease. Then trichomoniasis, protozoa. 
So it's a protozoan disease. So hepatitis B, it's a viral disease. AIDS is also a viral disease. So from this list of diseases, we can understand that some of the diseases are caused by bacteria, some of them are caused by virus, and some of them are caused by protozoa. So gonorrhea caused by bacteria, syphilis caused by bacteria, chlamydiasis caused by bacteria, genital herpes caused by virus, genital warts caused by virus, trichomoniasis caused by protozoa, then hepatitis B caused by virus, and AIDS, of course, we know is caused by virus, and it is a retrovirus. The AIDS caused by a virus, which is a retrovirus. What is a retrovirus? A virus which can uh, become DNA or double standard by reverse transcription. That we will see in the next, uh, the coming chapters. What is transcription? What is reverse transcription? Etc. We will see in the coming chapters. See, so, suppose a question comes like this. Gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydiasis, and trichomoniasis. These four names are given and you are asked to find out the odd one. So, gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydiasis, and trichomoniasis, which is the, which is the odd one? Of course, trichomoniasis, because gonorrhea is caused by bacteria, syphilis is caused by bacteria, chlamydiasis is caused by bacteria, but trichomoniasis is caused by protozoa. So, in the question, the answer is trichomoniasis because that is the odd one in that group. Like that, any grouping can be done here. So, uh, so it is uh, with this idea that I have written these words, these letters here to make you understand which type of pathogen causes the disease. Then, uh, how it is transmitted? So, now we have seen the cause. Cause is bacteria, virus, protozoans. And how it is transmitted? The STDs are transmitted through sexual intercourse or we can say sexual intimacy with the people. So sexual intercourse or sexual intimacy is the cause for sexually transmitted diseases. And coming to the symptoms, see, suppose a person gets engaged in a sexual activity and after some days he develops these symptoms itching some sort of irritation or itching develops in the genital area some sort of fluid is discharged from the penis slight pain in the genital region slight swelling in the genital region and these itching, fluid discharge, slight pain, slight swelling, etc. disappears after a few days. This discomfort remains there for 2-3 days or for a week. After that, it disappears. So the person will think that, oh, it's nothing. I have no problem. The, people, the person may believe like that or think like that. And moreover, females have no symptoms. The females develop no symptoms at all. That is, females are asymptomatic. And there is one more thing, social stigma. What is social stigma? That means, we cannot face a person, we cannot face the others if we are having such a dirty disease. If I have cold, if I have cough, if I have cancer, if I have uh, kidney trouble, I can boldly contact a doctor and ask me so, or tell me, doctor, I am suffering from such and such problems. But if a person is suffering from these problems, he is, his, he is delicate or his delicacy to discuss these things. That is, he himself thinks very downtrodden. That means, no, no as a very dirty person. So, he cannot or he do not like to discuss these problems. That is the social stigma. That means, how the others will think of me. That is the ill feeling. That is the social stigma. So, the slight symptoms are ignored or when a person gets or has these slight symptoms, these earlier symptoms, the person will not uh, 
normally contact a doctor because of social stigma so the early symptoms are very minor so the questions are questions like this what are the earlier symptoms of what are the earlier symptoms of stds what are the early symptoms the early symptoms are itching fluid discharge slight pain slight swelling in the genital region and these symptoms will disappear after a few days in the case of women these symptoms do not develop they have no symptoms or we can say women are asymptomatic and because of social stigma people do not go to see a doctor at this stage and after a few days these symptoms disappear so the person feels very comfortable but after after some time the secondary symptoms come out or the later symptoms develop the later symptoms are very serious and it needs medical attention immediately so what are the later symptoms pelvic inflammation disease pid what is pid pelvic inflammation disease the pelvic region that means the genital region gets swelled up pelvic inflammation inflammation means swelling up so pelvic inflammatory disease or pid abortion if the lady was carrying and she gets this diseases any of these diseases she gets aborted so abortion then stillbirth what is stillbirth dead the baby is dead a pregnant lady gets this disease then what happens the baby uh, gets killed so stillbirth stillbirth means dead baby is born then ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy means pregnancy develops outside the uterus so ectopic pregnancy that pregnancy causes serious problems and normally it has to be removed so ectopic pregnancy means pregnancy outside the uterus develops outside the uterus maybe in the uh, fallopian tube or we can say in the ovary duct it creates so many problems so ectopic pregnancy then infertility this disease causes infertility then cancer of the reproductive tract see how serious is the later symptoms pelvic inflammatory diseases or pid abortion stillbirth ectopic pregnancy infertility cancer of reproductive tract these are the later symptoms or we can say the secondary symptoms which are very 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 serious things which needs urgent medical attention so what are the earlier symptoms what are the later symptoms the earlier symptoms are ignored why the question may be like this what are the earlier symptoms and why people ignore it the earlier symptoms are uh, minor things the earlier symptoms are minor it co- it contains or it includes itching fluid discharge slight pain slight swelling in the genital region and these symptoms disappear after a few days in the case of women the females have no symptoms or the females are asymptomatic and because of the social stigma people hesitate to consult a doctor at this stage so this social stigma prevent treatment of the disease in the initial stages then the later symptoms or the second symptoms are pelvic inflammatory disease or pid so pid has been asked for expansion pid has been asked for expansion what is pid pelvic inflammatory disease abortion stillbirth ectopic pregnancy infertility cancer of reproductive tract etc are the later symptoms or secondary symptoms which are very serious now we have to see how can how can we prevent spreading of the diseases how can we prevent the disease prevention prevention of stds what is the what are the methods of preventing stds stds can be prevented by two three 
things which we have to observe very seriously in our life. One, avoid sex with a stranger. Avoid sex with a stranger or avoid sex with strangers. Or we can say unknown person. Avoid sex with strangers, avoid sex with unknown person. Do not get engaged in sexual activity with a person whom you do not know or a stranger. Then second is avoid sex with multiple partners. Avoid sex with multiple partners. What do, you, what do you mean by multiple partner? Don't have sexual relation with more than one person. So do not go for sexual activities to different people. So avoid sex with multiple partners. Or avoid the practice of engaging in sex with many people at the same time. So these are the two important things. Then. In the case of doubt, the third thing, in the case of doubt, consult a doctor. See, in the case of doubt, suppose a person gets engaged in sexual activity with the third person or somebody else and he has a doubt in his mind. Oh, uh, is there a chance for me to get a disease like this? If a doubt arises in his mind, definitely he has to consult a doctor. Then he can get treated, he can get treated before even the earlier symptoms which are very minor. So he can be saved totally. So, how can we prevent the spreading of STDs? The STDs can be prevented by two, three uh, ways. One, avoiding sex with strangers or un unknown person. The second, avoid sex with multiple partners. And third, in case of doubt, surely consult a doctor. So these are the uh, preventive measures for STDs. Then here, I have mentioned here eight diseases out of which I have underlined three of them. Genital herpes, genital, sorry, hepatitis B and AIDS. All these are viral diseases also. Why? Out of these, these three are incurable. Out of these, these three genital herpes genital, uh, sorry, genital herpes, hepatitis B and AIDS are incurable diseases. See, the gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydiasis, genital warts, trichomoniasis, etc. can be treated, can be cured completely if treated in time. But genital herpes, hepatitis B, AIDS, etc. are incurable, no treatment, no medicine. So again, I under this light, I insist you. What are the preventive methods? Preventive methods of yes, what is it? Avoid sex with strangers or unknown person. Avoid sex with multiple partners. Then, in case of doubt, surely consult a doctor. And how AIDS spreads? AIDS spreads. Number one condition through sex with a stranger or through illegal sexual activity. Then there are some more ways by which it can be spread from one person to another. What are they? Sharing of needles. You have studied in the earlier classes, sharing of needles. Then through 
contaminated surgical equipments through uh, blood transfusion from an infected person from an infected mother to a child these are the other ways of transmitting aids so aids can be transmitted this this is i have given you eight names of diseases so out of these aids is spread not only through the sexual activity but through sharing of needles then through transmission of contaminated blood or blood from an infected person then through the use of contaminated uh, surgical equipments then from an infected mother to the child these are the ways by how aids is spread see gentle herbs hepatitis b and aids these are incurable while these are they are while the others are curable again a question may be like this gonod gonorrhea syphilis trichomoniasis and hepatitis b are given and you are asked to find out the old man here which is the old man hepatitis b because gonorrhea uh, syphilis trichomoniasis these are curable but hepatitis b is incurable so questions may be like this so bear in mind genital herpes hepatitis b and aids are incurable while well, others are curable okay dear students i hope you have understood the sexually transmitted diseases and we have discussed in detail so i hope you have you you know all these things now so we'll see in the next class where we will discuss about infertility so thank you